Well, happy new comic book day to you, viewer and reader and comic book fan extraordinaire. I am Chris, the Longbox Punk, a.k.a. for today, the Shadow Man Jack Boniface is back, baby! Valiant Comics and Alien Books have released the newest tale in their resurgence of the Valiant Universe, it is Shadow Man Soul Eaters, number one of four. And my <laughs> I don't know if you can tell by the old school blue Shadow Man mask, the leather jacket, the shirt, the necklace. I got it all. Shadow Man was my first cosplay. I love this hero in this universe, and I am stoked that Shadow Man is back. And what a banger of a first issue. Soul Eaters number one takes us right back into New Orleans. We see a brand new, very dark, mysterious magpie who's being controlled by Master Dark, who is the big bad for Shadow Man. We also, if you've been paying attention to the resurgence of the Valiant Universe books, Master Dark and his sister recently had a tussle in the dark side, and he may or may not have slipped out. Thanks to some whoopsie daisy by Punk Mambo. I love Punk Mambo. She shows up in this book. Dr. Mirage shows up in this book. The abettors are in this book in full force, fighting the golems that are brought forth by the this new magpie that isn't Jack Boniface. Who is it? It's a big mystery, and it is so much fun to read. There are also a handful of variant covers. We've got Jack in his full Shadow Loa form, slightly updated, but as they say in the book, the Shadow Loa takes many forms. So whether it's the newly updated white skull face in all black or the more classic 90s attire that I have, it's all Shadow Man and it is all good by me. I love this character. So much fun. We get Evil Ma I like immediately I was like, wait a second, that's Magpie. That's not Jack, because they were quickly transported after the Magpie does some dastardly deeds. We are transported and we see Jack in peace. He's found peace with his Shadow Loa. And instead of fighting against the Shadow Loa, now he's working with it to fight the forces of evil and to vanquish them and do good. And so I knew that when the Magpie was doing bad things <laughs> to innocence, I knew it couldn't be Jack. And so the main tale just unfolds and we get to see Jack talking with Dr. Mirage, getting the warning of the magpie and Master Dark's return, touching in with Pump Mambo, you know, assembling all of the abettors to figure out and vanquish this new magpie. And then it leads in a very fun, dark, horrific battle set in a cemetery of all things because he is the hero of horror and he's back baby i'm so stoked you really need to pick up shadow man shadow eaters number soul eaters number one of four on this new comic book day it's a resurgence tie-in i'm having a blast reading these valiant books and i am having a blast reading Shadow Man. I love it. I give this a so solid 10 out of 10. I recognize I'm biased. That's okay. This was everything I wanted from a Shadow Man book. The artwork is gritty and it's dark. And the writing, the um, AJ Ampadu understands Shadow Man and understands these characters that he's writing now. And Sergio Monjes is on the artwork. And like I said, it matches the tone of just a dark and gritty Shadow Man tale in New Orleans. And I loved it. I loved everything about it, and I hope that you will pick this book up. 10 out of 10 from Valiant and Alien Books. I am Chris, the Longbox Punk, and I am here to tell you to stay tuned right here to nerdinitiative.com or Nerd Initiative on YouTube or all of your social medias of your choice for all of your positive fandoms like Valiant Comics. Um, I'm just living the dream over here. So I'm here to tell you to do what's good for you, punks, and go read some horror comics. I am out of here.